Action Headquarters here at Lake Hell in Florida. We got a great fight coming up, Jerry Rome and Steve Mackey. And before we meet these fighters, let's take a look at how the rankings look in this division. Jerry Rome is the man on top. Of course, Jerry is the world heavyweight champion by virtue of his win over Brad Hefton in Atlanta, Battle of Atlanta. Daryl Hennigan, uh, number one contender from uh, Montreal, James Waring, Don Nielsen, Jeff Hollins, Blake Gabriel also from Canada in at number five. Frank Lobman, Tommy Mouton, Steph, Steve Sheffield, Dino Humsey, Jeff Mott from Rockford, Illinois, from the hometown of Brad Hefton, rounds it out. But the man that owns the top spot in the division is over in the blue corner with the red pants. That's Jerry Rome. We're going to meet him right now. We go to our ring announcer, Larry Black. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Nautilus Sports Medical Industry, Jim Abernathy Sports, we welcome you to a seven-round heavyweight bout featuring the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> Introducing first, in the red corner, from Kansas City, Missouri, he is 33 years old, stands six foot one inches tall, weighing in at 191 pounds. His American kickboxing record is 21 wins, eight losses, two draws, with 10 of his wins by knockout. Welcome, please, Steve Mackey. And in the blue corner, from Atlanta, Georgia, 30 years of age, standing six foot two inches tall, he weighed in at 192 pounds, with a record of 35 wins, two losses, 28 of his wins coming by the knockout. He is the world heavyweight champion. A big round of applause for Jerry Rome. This is a seven-round non-title bout. Our referee is Bill Clark. Bill Clark, our third man in the ring. Final pre-fight instructions to the two fighters. Let's listen in. Men, I don't want you both to listen to my commands at all times. The first thing is I don't want you to hold each other. Second thing is I don't want you to keep your heads on each other at any time or rest on each other. Both understand? When we go back, we'll bow to each other, to me, and we'll have a good fight. Go back. Right here, Jerry, when you get your mouthpiece. Steve, right here when you get your mouthpiece. The cornerman, Dave Kennedy right and Asa Gordon. With bow. the mouthpiece work, Jerry Seven. Rome, bow. Steve Mackey, Time and keeper, here fight. we go. There's a bow, round one. Steve Mackey on your left, Jerry Rome in the red pants, the champion. And he loads up with a big right hand to get round one underway. Steve Mackey has been out of the ring now for a year and a half. He's coming back in the heavyweight division. He sparred with Jerry Rome and Jeff Smith some years back when Jeff Smith was the light heavyweight champion of the world. Said that Jerry gave him a fighting lesson then. He wanted to do a little bit of getting even if he could possibly get away with it tonight. Steve Mackey at 33 years of age. Maybe some of his better days agility-wise behind him, yet he's in tremendous shape, Boom Boom. Well, I don't know. You know, with his height, uh, uh, Brad, I think that the, I think that Rome is too powerful for him. Well, he looks it right now. Jerry puts a nice combination together. Jerry very fluid, both with the footwork and there's a nice left jab. You see how Jerry, when you say fluid, he puts his combinations together so well offensively and defensively. Looks like he's not throwing a hard punch. But I'll tell you, if you're on the end of it, it is extremely powerful. He snaps his punches on the end. Good defensive move by Mackey. That's been maybe his best move of the night so far here in round one. Scheduled for seven. Jerry Rome facing you. Heavyweight champion of the world. And looking to show the fans in Lake Helen, Florida, that he deserves that title. It is not easy to find opponents for Jerry Rome. So when Dave Kennedy, who is Bob Thurman, Handler called and said, Steve Mackey wanted to do it. We knew we'd have a quality fighter. We didn't know how he would do it, the heavier weight. He used to fight as a middleweight, went seven rounds with Bill Wallace one time as a middleweight. Good right hand inside by Rome, off a counter. Comes back with a left and right. Mackey got his hand on that as we start to wind things down here in round one. Steve Mackey and Jerry Rome. Round one's history, six more coming up from Lake Helen, Florida, so stay where you are. Back at Nautilus Sports Medical Industries Corporation headquarters in Lake Helen, Florida. Round two underway. Steve Mackey and Jerry Rome scheduled for seven. The heavyweights haven't at it. Brad Nessler, Boom Boom, Jeffrey on, and Joe Corley with you. Nice to have you along wherever you might be watching tonight. 
You know, Brad, I think that uh, Jerry got a little surprised there when uh, Steve just turned around very quickly and give him uh, a pretty good one right on the face. Steve a little with himself as he threw that left round kick and came up about six inches shy with it. Steve Mackey is the karate trainer for Bob Thurman, has trained Bob throughout his karate career. Comes from the Jim Harrison School of Karate out of Kansas City and to those people in karate who know Jim Harrison, that was a very, very tough, rugged school. And Steve Mackey has always been one of those kind of athletes. Jerry That's Rome. Why he would have the courage there. to get in the ring with Jerry Rome. No kidding, he said before the fight that he very much respected Jerry and that he taught him quite a bit early in his kickboxing career, but he thought he'd maybe be able to have a little payback tonight here in Florida. And I think he settled in a little bit more here in the second round. Jerry Rome, an excellent defensive fighter as well, as you see him step away from those front kicks of Steve Mackey. Rome with a nice right hand. Mackey a little bit staggered by that one, and he'll now circle the ring and try to get away from that right hand, but he didn't. He got him pretty good there, about two or three good one there. I honestly believe that, you know, he's going to cool it a little bit, Steve, because he's got, and he's going for the knockout right now, but. As we come to a close of round two. The bell for round three, and Steve Mackey with both eyes with a lot of swelling, and that could be a factor very, very soon in this fight. Jerry Rome connected and did so often in round two. And Mackey's cornerman really had to go to work on both the right and left eyes. The right eye is the worst of the two right now. Nice right hand in by Mackey. Didn't have the kind of steam on it that uh, Rome's punches have. Steve Mackey, almost a dead ringer for Phil Sims, the New York Giant quarterback. But I think he'd probably rather be sacked by Lawrence Taylor than get in there with Jerry Rome right now. <laughs> well, you know, Jerry Rome, he, he hits so hard. And he waits for his chances. He's not a wild hitter like some of the other guys that we see. This guy waits for his chances. Doesn't waste any punches, does he? That's right. There's the sweep move with the right foot and then try to counter with the left round kick. Jerry's got an excellent jab as well. You don't get to be champion by not having all the tools, and he's proven that over the course of his career. Of course, we've talked about it a number of times. His detached retina, he's come back after a six-year layoff. Perhaps the only fighter in any sport to have done that after a six-year layoff, come back, spent two years, paid his dues, and won the world heavyweight title. And he won it with a tremendous right hand right on the button of Brad Hefton in April back in Atlanta. And he's used that right hand effectively here against Steve Mackey tonight. Mackey had a... Uh, Maybe a minute in round two where he didn't look confused and then Rome connected and the eyes started to swell on him. And now he's showing that same sort of bewilderment we've seen in the better portion of three rounds. For whatever reason, Rome is not looking as sharp in this round with his combinations as he looked in round one and two. Jerry got a nice round kick into the chest of Steve Mackey as round three comes to a close here in Lake Helen, Florida. They traded shots on there and then Racer Gordon, his handler. And Ace has got a smile on his face. I think he feels like his fighter has looked good to this point. But as you said, Joe, that combination both fighters had there at the end may have woken Jerry Rome up a little bit. They're taking another close look at the cut over there on the eye of Steve Mackey. Jerry Rome, of course, uh, no problems yet. Now there's another cut open. This one above the eye. Remember, the first one was below the eye. That cut above the right eye could really be a troublemaker. The athletic skill here is jumping 360 degree roundhouse kick off the back leg. Mackey picked the left arm up to block, tried to block with the right elbow. The kick made it in between. Rome using the front leg heel kick very effectively, used it well with his left leg in the earlier rounds, now with his right leg in the third round. Well, Joe, they're having real trouble with that eye right now. Yeah. It appears in the corner. Dave Kennedy's done a good job, but. I honestly believe, Brad, that uh, it's gonna last. I doubt it very much. His eyes already closed. He's got below and above. We start round four, and Bill Clark keeping a very, very close eye on the eye of Steve Mackey. 
Bill I, Clark, one of the best referees in the business, so he'll know if indeed a time does come to stop this. I expect Mackey will try to give it his all, try to finish Rome if he can with a powerful shot. But when you try to do that, you the good right hand in by Mackey. When you do that, often you give it away. Spinning back fist connects too by Mackey. So he's put together some good offensive moves here in the fourth round. But his right eye is going to become a problem for him. And I just can't see him surviving this fight with that eye almost closed now. And you see the blood coming down the side of the nose. There's the heel kick again by Rome, and that one connected. Mackey knows now it is do or die time because he's simply not going to be able to make three more rounds with the right eye in the condition it is. So he's trying to give it everything here in the fourth round. Remember the problem that the cut causes is if the, if the blood goes in your eye, it gives you a vision problem. Otherwise, it's aesthetic, aesthetically not good looking, but no real danger. It's on the closest point of the right eyebrow, it appears, and most of the blood is trickling to the side of the nose, but still, it's very close to the corner of his eye as well. A game Steve Mackey out of Kansas City, Missouri, and the champion from Atlanta, Jerry Rome, putting the pressure on, and there's a nice right hand at the end of that combination. Well, you know yourself where Jerry is going to go now, and he's going to go for the eye. There's no question about it, the finisher. Jerry may be the kind of fighter, boom, boom, that won't do that. Final seconds of round four. Brad Nessler, Boom Boom Jeffrey on it. Joe Corley back with you in Lake Helen, Florida to start round five between Steve Mackey and Jerry Rome. And again, the story of this fight is the condition of the right eye of Steve Mackey. The ring physician had a look again between rounds, Joe, and I heard him say to Bob Thurman, who fights with Mackey, that it's not the greatest of cuts, but it's not impeding his vision right now. It looks to me like Mackey may be fighting on borrowed time as far as vision out of that eye is concerned. You know, it really affects your depth perception. Really affects your depth perception. And when you're fighting somebody as fast as Jerry Rome, you want to have that perception to its fullest. I think it showed on that last combination where Rome missed with the spinning back fist, but followed with a left hook and a left round kick in the final two of that combination connected because Mackey just can't quite see him coming right now. Well, I want to I want to give credit to Steve a little bit because they got on the ring with the world's champions. I mean, you really have to have guts. I mean, automatically he's got almost both eyes blocked right now. It's, I mean, it, it's a question of time. Boomer, like so many hockey players who play with pain, you can, I'm sure, appreciate a Steve Mackey who just He's got, he's got no, absolutely, he's got not even considering stopping. Jerry Rome loads up, nice right hand. Excuse me, Boomer. Yeah, I'm sorry, Brad. Was, well, he just get him, he just, Jerry just give him another one right in the uh, right eye again. Final half minute of the round. It appears Mackey is going to weather the storm again. Ran into a short right hand, though. Gary Rome's throwing everything at him and connecting on much of it. Heel kick missed. Final 10 seconds now of the round. There's a good left jab. And we come to the close of the round. Well, at the very moment that the bell sounded to end the round, the referee, Bill Clark, and the ring physician had another look at the eye of Steve Mackey and have decided that he cannot continue. The cut's too bad in his right eye, and so Jerry Rome is going to win this one. And again, the champion did some severe damage to the right eye there of Steve Mackey. And Steve's disappointed. He wanted to continue. Physically felt he was ready to go on. But, Boomer, you just can't keep going when you can't see what you're doing. No, I'm very happy that, uh, and as a matter of fact, I'm glad that the referee stopped that fight because they, he had no more defense. Let's get the official announcement on this decision and go to our ring announcer, Larry Black. Larry? Ladies and gentlemen, the referee, on the advice of Dr. John Keating, has stopped the fight at the end of the fifth round. The winner by technical knockout, the world champion, Jerry Rome. So Jerry Rome, the champion, 36 and 2 now, and a winner by TKO. That's his 29th career knockout. And he's with Joe Corley in the ring. Joe?